Hello everyone. Today I am showing you how to implement auto scaling group in AWS. But before we start, please subscribe my channel and keep updated with my latest and upcoming videos. So for this exercise, you should have an account in AWS with administrative permission. Open your AWS console and in search bar type EC2 and click on it. So for best practice you should create security group for stands and for load balancer. So go to the security group first. So guys, uh, Please, before that, please select the region where you want to implement. Suppose uh, I am using North Virginia. Okay. Now go to the security group. Now create the security group for the web server. So I have already created security group for web server. Let me show you. And added two rules. I am just editing. You don't need SSH rule, so just I am deleting and I am for now I am keeping HTTP over for everyone. Now create a security group for load balancer. Now give the name of security group. I am giving the test hyphen lv hyphen sg description security group for lv. Select the VPC inbound rule. Just add share a select HTTP source anywhere now create security okay now before moving to next step you have to do one thing go to security group and select this web security group then go to inbound rule and edit source so here you have given anywhere that means traffic anyone can reach to that your servers port it directly without by by bypassing load balancer if he knows the IP of the web server so just remove it and add source select okay so for this first delete this now add select http source type source And then save rule. Now, web server 
will accept traffic only from the load balancer on port 80. Now go to the auto scaling group. Click on create auto scaling group. Give the name of auto scaling group. Test hyphen ASG. Launch template. So there are two options launch configuration and launch template. I am using launch template. So currently there is a launch template, but I, I want to show you how to create. So I am creating another one. Create a launch template. A new window will open. Then give the name of the launch template. My test icon. You can give any name. If you want to specify template version description, you can then template tag, source template, you can leave it as default. Then go to the image. If you have created your AMI, you can select from my AMI section. Otherwise, you go to quick start and select either you if you want to manage online or Ubuntu, whatever you want, you can select. So I am just selecting. Ubuntu. So there are many AMIs of Ubuntu 22, Ubuntu 20, whatever you version you want, you can take. I am taking Ubuntu 20. Now stand type. Just for testing purpose, you can take it to micro. Keep a login. So from here you can select that uh, key pair otherwise if you don't want you cannot you don't want you don't select the key pair so for now i am not uh, i can select don't include launch template Then go to network setting. I am not selecting subnet here. I will select subnet in auto scaling group. Then security group. You can select uh, existing security group because we have already created. So this, this security group is for the instance. So I am selecting test web SG. Now go to network configuration. Add network interface. So here there are two things. If your server, if your web server is in private subnet, then you don't need to select the uh, auto assign public IP. But if it is in public subnet, you can select. It depends on if you want it or you, you don't want. You can enable or disable here from here. So I'm enabling it. There are a lot of options here you can select as per your requirement. Then storage I am going with default 8 GB tag. I am not giving the tag name here. Then go to advanced detail. In advanced detail, there are many things like you can request spot instances, host name, you can give the host name, anything. There are a lot of things related to if you want to include cloud out monitoring, you can select from here. The important thing is the user data. So if you want that you, when your instance is launched, it do something in a startup, like install Apache or Nginx or system update, then you write the script here. So I'm writing just here, sudo apt get update then sudo apt install nginx and another is the firewall 
so one rule if you want because you have not added the key so you cannot connect to the web server so just write uh, here sudo uf w allow http or you can write port it here also after that create launch template now you can see the view launch template it is created now go to the previous window refresh it now you can see that this template is coming showing here so just select it i will always suggest select the latest version so that if future if you change if you do some editing in uh, launch template so it always automatically pick the latest one then click on next network here you can define the availability zone or subnet so i am just taking so basically there are all the subnet so i am just taking adding every all the temp template sorry all the subnet here you can select as per your requirement you if you want to use private subnet or public subnet now in next next section select the load balancer so currently there is no load balancer so i am just clicking on attach to a new load balancer for http always select application load balancer give the load balancer name i am giving you it should be internet facing create a new target group then help check so you can enable the to gather the cloud watch matrix here i am just leaving it blank the next group size desired capacity if one minimum capacity what you want one maximum capacity as per your requirement as per your type Every pattern you can select here. Now the scaling policies. So suppose you want to uh, add a rule that if your web server's CPU utilization is more than fifty percent or seventy percent, another server launch automatically. That is scale out. So just click on it. Average CPU utilization, I, it is. I am just making it seventy-five. So matrix type, average CPU utilization. Here you can select average network, average. There are a lot of matrix are there. Average load balancer, request count per target. This is most important. If you know the how many requests you are coming and how many requests your one server can handle, then according to that you can implement that this rule also. And you can implement both. Means say either CPU utilization and as per traffic pattern. So if you disable it, if you click on this, disable it scaling to create only a scale out policy. That means it will scale out, but when traffic goes down or uh, CPU utilization come to normal, come below seventy five percent or fifty percent, then it will not scale in. so just keep it is at uncheck and go to the next notification you can add here 
HNS if you have implemented or added any HNS type topic then go to the next tags you can add tags here then next preview and create auto scaling group okay now you can see that your auto scaling group is created and uh, you should go to the stands so you can see that new stance is being launched okay now go to the load balancer there is one more thing you have to do here select the load balancer go to the description here security so basically when you launch load balancer from the auto scaling group it automatically select the default security group so you have to edit it edit security group and select the security group you have created at lbsg now save it now go to the stands select the stands go to the action and go to the monitor and troubleshooting check the, check the system log so it is currently it is not showing because it is in it's still in booting process so you need to wait here for a few minutes now refresh the system log after a few minutes uh, here you can see that your system has booted your system has booted now check the load balancer that web server is showing the home page or not because you have installed the nginx now come back to the load balancer load balancer section and select the load balancer then go to the description and then select the dns name copy it and open it in the browser now you can see the welcome to engine that is engine the home page has come so this is the steps you can follow and easily implement auto scaling group and also do some experiment by changing the default parameters and do your testing so that's it for this video keep updated please subscribe my channel and keep updated yourself for the upcoming videos Thank you guys.